I don't know. I'm fine. Then who are we waiting for? Chris? Darky? I'm here. Okay, so here's YouTuber. here's what tonight's actual content is. Perfection. Noodle nap time. Let's go. She got her tail hanging out of the cage. Z monster sitting right on her nose. Moving was smooth? Hell yeah. Glad you're uh, settled into your new place. It's so cute. I don't even have any music in the background. I don't even need Anyway. All right. That is me accidentally turning on the caps. All right. So the sleepiest noodle. Uh, so yeah, I'll hit this. This is going to be, uh, damn, I trusted Sharky. I, if there's anything I learned, don't trust anybody. Not even yourself. <laughs> this is going to be the greatest attorney chronicles voice acted part 18 uh there we go hey there's my controller yeah i'm glad your move went went super smooth um but yeah we'll thank our friends over at capcom for hooking us up um i think and i was like unreasonably excited yeah um so here's the deal y'all know what to do i demand that you introduce yourselves immediately i feel very targeted right now and i've already had to introduce myself twice today like you might as well just rip the band-aid off again real fast yeah. i really have to do this again i put on an entire dress for you hi targeted <laughs> i'm sharky it's nice to meet you i uh, i have a voice that's registered as a sleep aid in three countries and two time zones and uh Sometimes I speed run because race car. Oh, okay, I got okay, I I I got the picture. I'll, I'll go next. I'm um, Oni Hearts. Art, fighting games, RPGs. I was last playing Stranger Paradise. Man, that game is fun. You don't do it, I will do it for you. But Chris could go next. Ladies first. I'm a lady. She's a lady. Ladies first. You're all awful. <laughs> Your face is awful. <laughs> it is. It. My face is exhausted. That's also true. Variety streaming, Final Fantasy XIV rating. I do a little bit of it all over at fish.tv slash Chris Reads. My name's Alfina. I think I, I live here now. Basically, Kia says I'm not allowed to quit. It happens. It's your fault. You got into a contract with the Catboy Overlord. Sorry. Uh, paperwork blink. for this shit? All right. Blink twice if you need help, Alfina. Imagine. I can't being... actually even control my character's blinks. I'd like you to know. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> well, because it won't track my eyes because of my glasses. So. Oh, I see. I have auto blinking on, so I'm like, I can't actually can't control the blinks. <laughs> Remind me to keep an eye out for like used iPhone Xs. Uh, used doesn't iPhone work X's. with this program. I need to buy the buy the version instead of keep using the free version. Uh. Forward me the information. I'll hook it up. Ooh. Either way, uh, Oni, I guess due to the lack of Casa and the lack of non pawn, uh, we have some uh, assignment changes today. What you got? Yes, yes, yes. Um... Make this sound real professional for a moment. Yeah. So, uh, Sharky. Don't worry, Inf. I'll put you to sleep real quick. Do you want to take the judge for now? Uh, I guess I should. You, you need an old person, you call me. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. Never mind. I'm not going to make that joke. No, please. I insist. Capcom. <laughs> so, if we're calling you when we need an old person, why do we have you voicing one of the youngest characters in this game? Because dichotomy is an excellent source of fiber. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You're doing... Um, Susato as well. Susato. Okay. 
I mean, I can I can pick up Susato or Alfina if you want to slide over. Either way, I it was just a funny moment. I don't care. Yeah, okay. Thank you. What I'm doing. All right, what else we got? Juror three and the Nutty Professor on my list. Yeah, he's doing um. I need the moment between jurors to make sure I can swap accents if they all talk. Otherwise, I would take the other juror. All right, Sharky, you got the judge and Susato. Okay. Uh, Chris is fine with mm, Soseki, even though I don't think he's going to appear in a trial again, but he has um, his uh, juror number three. three. And I can pick something else up if you need. And I think probably... Number one, juror one, since non pawn isn't here. Got it. And then everything else is pretty much the same. I'll take over the Zeke's for non pawn. I'm here for it. Any right. any any objections? <laughs> See what I did there. <laughs> We're in court. Ah. It just takes me a second to get out of the, the accent that I use for jerk. I can, I can just fucking so, whatever. So saying, like, I'm, I'm happy to pick up more. I just know that it takes me a second to get out of that accent. It's no worries. There's going to be another uh, witness that you can take soon. Okay. Alrighty. All right. So are we, uh, are we starting up this scene then? I think so. Summation examination. I wanted to give this fo young foreign student the sightseeing experience he no doubt came for. What? Swap into the other controller. There we go. I wanted him to see for himself how the opinion of the jury is so readily swayed. Uh. But my hospitality has its limits, and they have been reached, I feel. Oh damn, you taking it off? So, my learned friend, today's sightseeing tour of London is now over. What? What are you talking about? My lord! The prosecution requests permission to call its next witness to the stand. Granted. Bail. Bring forth the witnesses. Its next witness says? Mr. Norhuddle, do, do, do you not remember? We've been told on several occasions that there were eyewitnesses to the incident. Yeah, I remember. Uh, one of them being a Scotland Yard policeman, no less. I'm afraid that's likely to be the prosecution's next witness. Alright. No matter who Van Zeeks brings to the stand as his witnesses, no matter what they say, I believe in Soseki-san. I know he's innocent. And I'll keep believing it to the very end until this battle is over. God damn it, Naruto. Believe it. it. Yeah. Witnesses, please state your names and occupations for the court. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, it's, it's not more of an uh about like, 
who's doing it, but uh, it's, uh, what's going on in uh, this neck of the woods? Uh, so does that uh does that taste good there, fam? <laughs> I mean, look, I don't mind a bit of leather in my mouth, but I don't know if I do it in public like that. I mean, sleepy sleepy dude is uh, I mean, I don't know, it's kind of up for grabs. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll take. It. Well, somebody else wants them. Do I need a boy's her? Yes. <laughs> okay. I was like, before I volunteer, like, let me make sure I'm not trying to voice the vote. Oh, slow Roy, be it, stop. Look into a halt in the street, stop. Oh, God. Is he related to your boy? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, yes, a no, sir. <laughs> Roly no, sir. <laughs> Looks like Rolly's got narcolepsy. <laughs> and I'm Mrs. B. Patricia's my name. I'm proud to say that I'm this young town's hero's wife. Um, what's the story here? Well, in truth, we've not been married long. Apparently, I've been nailed to the point that I can't even I'm sleep safe. I'm closer to the anchor. Nothing, go ahead. There we go. In fact, we just celebrated our, the, our first anniversary only the other day. Sleepy ellipses. No, no, it was your husband I was asking about. He seems tired. Oddly surprising. Whilst being an honorable occupation, patrolling the beat is the most demanding work in the world. Oh, really? I'm sure I've heard that before, actually. Indeed. Apart from red days off, the gallant officers trudge some 20 miles a day, you know. They patrol boarding houses and pubs, collect taxes, survey the streets, check that meters are reading true. You know, I would walk uh, 500 miles. And I would, uh, would you walk 500 more? 500 more. Uh, what's in it for me? They're responsible for keeping the streets clean, lighting, and extinguishing our streetlights. People going... Never mind. There are a number of items on that list that don't sound much like policing at all. Hmm. Yeah, well, I wouldn't just be falling asleep on my feet. I'd have collapsed long ago. That's a Susato takedown. But it goes without saying that a po policeman's primary duty is the apprehension of criminals. Bless you, Freya. Even when he's off duty, a constable is expected to investigate and resolve any crimes on his beat. Beat this pants grab. For the London Bobby, he's a man of honor. Is a man of courage. He is Dr. Tran. Maybe ellipses. And a man of slumber. On the day in question, this man and his wife were walking down by a road in the opposite direction. And they witnessed the incident as it occurred. Is that not correct, Mr. and Mrs. Beat? That's right, sir, isn't it, Roly? Still asleep, you ellipses. <clears throat> Constable Royal Beat, sir. Nothing to report on the street, sir. What a great witness he's going to be. Wow. 
Very good. I'd like to hear your formal test varies now, please. You will tell the court exactly what you saw on the afternoon of the incident. Yes, sir. What the witnesses saw. It was our wedding anniversary and Rolly was taking me out for a meal. There was no time to change after work. Was it a hot lunch? <laughs> anyway, two silhouettes appear out of the fog on the pavement in front of us. All of a sudden, one of them just collapsed on the floor, and then the others scattered something before running off. We ran straight over, of course, and then went for help at a nearby police box. It was definitely that Japanese man on the in the dock. Rolly and I both saw him clear as day. Yes, through the fog? Where it, the silhouettes? Well, this is extremely compelling testimony, I must say. Hmm. Oh dear, this this policeman and his wife are claiming to have positively identified Mr. Natsume at the scene. If their testimony is true, The alternative course of events that you've established in the summation examination will be quashed. It's death knell, in fact. Because that alternative was never viable in the first place. What an unfortunate perchancing, and on your wedding anniversary too. I still managed to go out for the evening with my man. I thank the Lord for that. Gosh, the life of a London Bobby sounds very hard indeed. Indeed. However... This cross-examination will be over in minutes. You may well have time to rest this afternoon. What do you mean by that? I learned friend. The witnesses saw the face of the man fleeing the scene. They are testifying under oath that it was without doubt the accused, Mr. Soseki Natsume. is a policeman, no less. So you appreciate the gravity of the situation, I'm sure. Except that the man's so tired his wife has to do all the talking. Strange. Enough Bremble. Counsel for the defense. Commence the cross-examination of Count von Stroganoff's witness, please. Count uh, yeah, yes, my lord. I'm glad you finally caught that. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit dicks. Hey, I'm a big shit dick. What are you talking about? <coughs> Five foot nine? I didn't know they stacked shit that high. <sighs> you trying to squeeze an inch on me? All right. So, no time to change after work, you say. Are you also a member of the police, Miss Beat? Mrs. Beat, sorry. Oh, 
Oh no, sadly not. It's a job for strapping young men only. Women, children, and the elderly, elderly can't even apply. Ayo, hey, strap? Like a boss. Strap. I hate it here. Strapped up? Ayo, hey, they got... She's strapping? Well, I think you can probably see why children and the elderly can't do the job. Can't you? I think Broly looks ever so handsome in his uniform. It suits <laughs> you down the ground, doesn't it, darling? I completely misread that statement. <laughs> Good job. Hmm. What? Um, I just finished my beat. Pat and I were headed back to the station. I was actually planning on getting changed there. Is... Is he talking in his sleep? This is creepy. Oh no, Roly. I much prefer you in your uniform. Sometimes, I don't recognize you when I see you in plain clothes. Imagine that. Can't recognize her husband, but she can sure recognize... Oh dear, um, that, that, that doesn't seem healthy. I lead here to the point. You're going for a meal after you've finished your beat for the day, correct? It's right, sir. Yes, I thought I was fit to drop, to be honest, after spending the whole day on my feet. But policing is my life, sir. As long as I'm the proud owner of this, I'll serve my city and my queen to the end. Yes, that's her. Uh, what's that now? My warrant card, sir. Proof I'm a London copper. It has the noble founding principles of the force written on it. As a reminder to all of us policemen of our sworn duty. To patrol the streets of London town and uphold the peace of the common man. Ah! And for such a noble cause, I cover 20 miles every day without fail and without a grumble. Because I know that the plodding of my boots is all Londoners need to hear to feel safe and secure. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I sleep through all the dangerous moments, sir. So, Are fighting... you sure about that? So, fighting crime doesn't appear to come into it then? What's that? Just on that one particular day, I was looking forward to celebrating my wedding anniversary. Mrs. B puts up with a lot being married to a Bobby like me. I wanted to show my dear wife just how much I care. Oh, Pat. Oh, Rowan. Oh, what a charming couple. Their young love is such a joy to behold. What a joy. Hmm. If a little um, over the top, oh, sorry. perhaps? Sorry, I just read that. Kindly describe what happened next. Anyway, two silhouettes appeared out of the fog on the pavement in front of us. Hold it! Uh, two silhouettes? That's right. They were coming towards us, walking up Briar Road in the opposite direction. There was a rather plump figure, followed by a, a scrawny, thin-looking man. 
that does sound exactly like the victim is pictured in this print, and like Mr. Natsume. Yeah, unfortunately it does. And you're certain that at that time there was nobody else nearby? Oh, yes, I'm quite certain. It was dark, but there are streetlights on Briar Road, you see. There was nobody else at, around at all. Isn't that right, my darling? Yes, that's right, of course. There was a light fog on the ground. But Briar Road is dead straight and you can see a fairly long way down the pavement. And there's the street lighting as well. I didn't see in there. Before sleep takes a firm hold, your answer, please, Mr. Beat. Are you quite sure of what you've just said? Sir, as a copper who spends every day keeping watch on the streets, I swear to it, sir. Uh-huh. I'm sure, as my love for Patricia is true. Uh, that's going to be problematic in a second. Yep. Oh, Pat. Oh, Rolly. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> right? Hmm. They're still maintaining that no one else was around other than the victim and the attacker. It's starting to seem like that must be how it really happened. Getting to seem like there's nowhere to run. Well, that didn't stop Mr. Natsume, did it? He fled the scene all too convincingly. Thank you. I believe we have a reasonably clear idea of the situation just before the incident now. What happened in the crucial moments that followed? All of a sudden, one of them just collapsed on the floor and the other scattered something before running off. Hold it! Hmm. Scattered something? Well, what does that mean? When it's there. Purely psychosomatic. Oh, well, I couldn't quite make out what it was at the time. But then when we got closer, I realized what it was. Uh. Didn't we, darling? Ah, yes, that's right. There were some old books. I see. Old books. Yes, sir. The culprit had dropped a number of them. All around where the victim lay on the pavement. Indeed. It's clearly pictured in the photographic print. Oh, another photographic print? These people Look are so this. rich. Photograph. Every time I do, I wear a gaff. Makes me laugh. It is quite humorous. That rotten Japanese man did what he did. That rotten Japanese man did that when he did the deed. Hold it! Uh, let's not forget that it remains to be established that the defendant was indeed the attacker. We saw him. It was the man in the dock without question, sir. The moustache, the hunched back, the cat like eyes, the dot mouth, the snub nose. I feel like this is incredibly racist. Everything. That's me. <laughs> Bug ears, the purple hair, the crop top. Of course it was you. 
<laughs> Any more insults you want to throw in there, Captain Xenophobe? That's right. He looked down at that poor, defenseless woman with those terrifying, intense eyes. That's all the ayahuasca he's been doing. <laughs> and then suddenly threw his books onto the pavement and ran away. I... I see. This is tough. They seem as though they're telling the truth here. May I remind the court that this unambiguous testimony comes from a policeman and his wife. Now please, continue. We ran straight over, of course, and then we went for help at a nearby police box. Hold it! Was it your husband who went to fetch help? No, no, I went. I may not be a police officer myself, but I am. I am the proud wife of one, after all. Mm. Isn't that right, my darling? No, 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 hmm? What? Ah, yes, that's right. I asked Miss Beat to go. Mrs. Beat, I was off duty by that point. But a bob is never truly off duty, of course, so I felt obliged to stay and guard the scene. Our most beat. Preserving the scene of a crime is a task of considerable importance. That's why I sent Patricia to see. I told her where to find the right police box. Um, forgive my ignorance. What exactly do you mean by the right police? on a crime's location, you see, as to who deals with it. Where the woman was stabbed wasn't actually on my beat. So I told Patricia the way to the police box for the beat the incident fell under so she could go and uh, report. I ran there quite, I ran there as quickly as I could and asked for help from a Bobby on duty. There's nothing more potent than a young couple in love working together, you know. And thanks to your swift response, the case was quick, quickly resolved. The actions of two model citizens. Hey, Chris. Yeah. You haven't had anything that you've gotten to do in a while. You want to take over the sleepy guy? Sure. Okay, I'll hand them off. Oh, please. You're making us blush, isn't he, darling? You saw what Patricia said, sir. Let's move on, shall we? Thanks again, Master Balthier. Definitely that Japanese man in the Thanks dog. so much, though, Probably handsome sky pirate. Have a terrific night, and thank day. you. I'm gonna press it real good. But surely expulsion is not the answer. Uh, but surely you wouldn't have been able to see his face by the light of the gas street lamps, would you? <laughs> this is mildly erotic. Uh, we absolutely could. Us Londoners have exceptional eyesight, I'll have you know. Obviously, she is a um, whiplash, whiplash sexual here. 
<laughs> yes, he enjoys it. Well, he's not dead yet. There it is. What? Oh, that's a good idea, then. Right? Light from the street lamps was more than enough. It's not. And my husband already told you that the fog was only light, didn't he? Uh, yeah, and what of the fog? The famous fog across the globe, I believe. But it's an absolute menace to those of us who have to live with it, of course. Oh, it is, it is. When it's thick, you can't even see the hand at the end of your own arm. I'd like to commend Rue. you, Chris, for surviving 17 compound vertebrae fractures in your neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. I take your point. Now, could you please stop shaking your husband about? It's erotic. Hmm. Hmm. It's turning me on. The constant fog makes our eyes very sharp, you see. That's why we can tell you for sure and certain that it was that little Japanese man we saw. I'm not sure that's how it works. Uh-huh. Not sure how that's how, that's how anything works. Yeah, we darling. Oh. Hmm? What? Ah, yes. It was the accused, and no mistake. The mustache, the hunched back, the cat-like eyes, the taut mouth, the stub nose... Unmistakable, sir. Hmm. As far as this couple's testimony is concerned, there can't be any question. It was Soseki-san they saw running away from the scene of the crime. Hmm, so that's it, is it? That's their entire testimony? What do you think, Ryonosuke Kuhn? Well, I hate to admit it, but on hearing the testimony, it really does seem as though Mr. and Mrs. Beats saw what they saw. Or saw what they say they saw. Well, if they saw the saw, they could cut the hole in half and climb out. Mr. Natsume running away from the scene on Briar Road that day. Please. Yes, I feel the same. So if that's true, where does it leave us? The members of the jury are sure to call for a guilty verdict after this testimony. Oh no! Anyway, oh, I'm sorry. It's then what broken. do we do? It's broken. Ellipses. If Kazuma-sama were here. Please, Sasato, now is not the time for erection. That's <laughs> the you have my attention. What, what are you trying to say? I think he would pound out a contradiction just like he would pound out us. True! What do you mean, I'm a bottom? <laughs> <laughs> that, statement is, that statement about you is unequivocal. Calling that into question won't help. If you identify some other part of your anatomy that appears to contradict the facts, you might be able to discredit them to make the jury doubt if the pair's memory of the day is accurate. Oh. Yeah, right! But simply, we must focus on finding a discrepancy in these statements somewhere. If we don't, I'm afraid the trial may reach an early and unfavorable conclusion. Uh, 
Uh, why do I always seem to be so up against it? That's how you like it. Um, Mr. Lawyer, sir, can I ask you something? Yes, go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. What is it? Well, you keep asking us all these questions about everything we've told you, so... It... She's making him punch. What? Right. This is so weird. Seems like you don't believe our testimony. Is that right? Is it? Well... Out with it. What? No, uh, no, 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 no. It, it, it's, it's really not that at all. My husband's policeman, remember, and I know what I saw. Oh, sure. I remember every last detail, everything, like, like. Oh, I know. What about the books the man dropped? I could tell you the names of every single one I could. Every single one. And you dare to question how reliable my testimony is. Tell me even one of the books that was found. Go, go, right now. Snap, snap. No, it won't do it all. That Japanese lawyer has no idea what I'm capable of. Hey, don't touch me there. This is my no no square. Gosh, don't go back to the. Even if I decide <laughs> to forgive him for insulting us, don't think for a minute that Roly will. I. I really didn't mean to cause offense. Please put your husband's fists down. This is not your bedroom. Air horn. Like you like the opportunity to, su to supplement your testimony, Miss Beat. You almost say suppository. I need a don't. <laughs> Politely request you. Stop trying to throw hands. Would that appease you? <laughs> Throwing someone else's hands, no less. Oh, she ain't oh. trying to catch this smoke. Thank you, my lord. That would settle things nicely. They call me Brickfist the Ham Hawk. <laughs> One in it, darling. Meanwhile, Van Zykes is over here face palming like all oh, these idiots. You're not wrong, Count Von Stroganoff. <laughs> I could even tell you the names of the four books he dropped at the scene. Now, I'm pretty sure there are only three, but go ahead. Tickle my fancy. Yes, we know that there were books dropped at the scene of the crime, as you say. It was purchased by the accused at the nearby second-hand bookshop on the day in question. After I'd been to the police box for help, I... Well, I decided to have a good look over the area for good measure. I am a proud policeman's wife, after all. I did it for Roly. And what was your husband doing at the time? Sleeping. Oh, he was lying face down in the snow, getting some well-deserved rest. Well, you weren't wrong. <laughs> dead, Jim. Everybody's dead. Why are these dead games things? so They're easy all... to call? They're all dead things. Every everyone's dead. <laughs> Everybody's dead. I missed that last dead. day. I missed that last whatever it was of hers. Ah, she's talking smoke anyway. Okay. Interesting way of guarding the scene. Of oh, all right, maybe actually it's important. All right, bring it back. Um, sorry. 
While he was lying face down the snow, getting some well-deserved rest, he works ever so hard, you know, ever so hard, don't you? Interesting way of guarding the scene of a crime. Oh, Miss Beat, seeing as you've regaled the court with tales of your powers of recollection. Would you be so kind as to recount the titles of the books you've observed at the scene? I'd be happy to. Now, are you all listening? Can't wait to hear how you're going to miss this one up. There was the picture of Monsieur Somebody or Other and What's It Yearnings? Oh, Lord. Then there was um, a meal for someone, and the last one was definitely the thing I me something. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I know all those. Classics, really. You see? Yes. I see there are one or two holes in your memory. <laughs> Well, they were all along those lines, I'm quite sure. <sighs> Must I do everything? There were indeed books found at the scene with titles along those lines, as you put it. Well, what did I tell you? I think it's very mean the way, way you've been implying that my to testimony can't be trusted. Don't you agree, darling? Anyone who upsets my Patricia will have to answer to... will have me to answer to. Oh, oh my guns! <laughs> My guns Sorry. started blasting. He straight up pulled He's a pistol about to start in the middle blasting. of a court. He pulled the strap? <laughs> yeah, he pulled the strap, bro. He you know, he strapped strap. up in the courtroom? Yeah, boy. He pulled he out the chopper. And then straight passed out. <laughs> Woo! Terrifying. Yeah. She really is. So that's it, is it? That's their entire testimony? You know, what pulling you a think? gun, that's testimony. My guns! <laughs> what did you think of that pistol, Ryunosuke Kun? I think it's a sign of small and insignificant genitalia. I agree, <laughs> Cosmos was bigger. <laughs> well, I hate to admit it, but on hearing the testimony, it really does seem as though Mr. and Mrs. Beats saw what they really saw. Mr. Natsume running away from the scene on Briar Road that day. Ellipses. I feel the same. So if that's true, where does it leave us? I feel like this is something we read earlier. Yeah, this is a dub. Huh? I feel like this is a repeat. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I th I think the move is putting the book receipt against what she lists. Yeah. I have to imagine it's something like that, right? If she lists our book. All right, now fire it up. So, you're saying that there were four bucks? That's right. I remember all of them. The 
the picture of Monsieur Somebody, What's It Yearnings, a meal for someone, and thing a mummy something. I don't know, Manto DMs. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mrs. B. Hello. But there is a fundamental flaw in that statement of yours. Oh, no. What? What flaw? Well, simply that, at the scene of the crime, ooh, traumatic camera angle, there were only three books, not four. Ha <laughs> ha, idiot. What? Yeah, this is the receipt from the bookshop where the defendant brought his books. Your books? Yes. And it details Mr. Natsume's purchases that day. But as you can see, only three books are listed. Only three? But no. No, that can't be. Suck it, nerd! I remember seeing them. No, there were four books, I tell you. Four dirty old books. Hey, Chris. You're voice acting a meat puppet. <laughs> yeah. I voice act a meat puppet every day of my life. Oh, so true. So oh. best, so true, bestie. So true. That's more of a sad trombone than an MLG <laughs> air horn, to be honest. That shit, that, that shit hit a little too close to home, Chris. <laughs> Not cool, bro. Not cool. Ba-doom, ba -doom. Oh, really? Have a good look at this photographic print of this crime scene. As you can clearly see from the evidence as well, there's only three books. But I just don't believe it. Believe it? Bitch. I saw them there, I swear it, I saw them. No, madam, I'm afraid your powers of observation cannot be relied upon. Grr. So it cannot be denied that though you say it was the, the defendant you saw, you could very well be mistaken. No! No! Oh, call me tits, Van Zeeks. Everyone in the gallery duck. You about to start throwing things again? Yeah, it probably is tossing the chussy out. <laughs> I haven't seen a chussy all night. No chussy today. No. No chussy it's... tonight in my coffee! Plainly evident that it is your powers of deduction that cannot be relied upon, my learned Nipponese friend. What? Slurs at us again. Oh, there it is! What cannot be denied is that these two witnesses saw the accused running from the scene. A fact that you know very well you have no hopes of disproving. Ah! So you've striven to avert attention from that by dint of some inconsequential discrepancies. Would that be fair? Oh, he sees right through me. He's actually started undressing me. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. We'll get back to that next episode.
but your plan has somewhat recoiled against you. What are you talking about? It's quite simple. Let me explain with a toast. Oh, can I have avocado? No. We're out. What, what do you mean we're out? You didn't buy more in the store. Did you eat it all, Alfina? Did you eat all the avocados? No. Damn, kids. Nonpon <laughs> stole them, and that's why Nonpon's not here. <laughs> this is why we can't have houses! <laughs> non pawn And her entirely accurate testimony in every respect. Oh. You see, the matter is not up for debate. At the scene on Briar Road, a total of four books were most definitely found. Was one of them under the body, therefore invalidating the evidence? Objection. But, but what about the photographic print? It only shows three books. Quite right. Only three can be seen in that print. Oh, come on. That print, you mean to say? Damn it. Allow me to present another. One that shows the victim's hand. Also, that's a sturdy candelabra. Holy Christ. Why did the chest <laughs> explode? Uh, I guess that's some really fortified wine. I, I don't believe it. It's, it's the fourth book. As you will observe. Think mummy something. Jeez. The fourth book? was hidden from view in the original print by the victim's torso. Oh. No! Order! Order! There you see, you see, look at that, look, look, look. Yes. Just like I said, isn't it, my darling? Yes, sir. Patricia's always right, sir. That is a man that wants to stay married. <sighs> happy life, happy received. wife. For the books purchased by the accused on the day in question. Mrs. Beat, the titles once again, if you please. Oh, yes, of course. The picture of Monsieur somebody or other. The picture of Monsieur Le Coq. What's its yearnings? Canterbury yearnings. A meal for someone. A meal for Gab... 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 Gab Gaboria? Yeah, I Gaboria, guess. Gaboria, in fact. The Gabor of Orealis? <laughs> As the court has just heard, the witnesses the witness remembers the book titles flawlessly. Save for flawless. a few minor details. A meal for G. That's <laughs> that is chipped gem quality at best. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Beat's powers of recollection can only be described as a average. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Rolly? The gentleman paid me a compliment. Yes, yeah, she likes compliments, Chris. She likes to go on walkies. I want to see the guy pull a pistol out of here. Not... <laughs> yes, sir. Flawless, sir. Patricia is flawless. But, but there's only three books on the receipt. And Mrs. Beat mentioned four. There's nothing surprising about that. Clearly, the fourth book is that which is shown in this photographic print. Yes. I'm sorry, Council, but the, it's not the... It's just three 
freaking weird, man. Why should the fourth book be omitted from the receipt? It's not odd at all, my lord. As the foot photograph clearly shows, the fourth book was found in the victim's clutches. His purse! In other words, it belongs to the victim. The victim? Was holding her own book? I wonder what became of that fourth book. Obviously, it wasn't overlooked by the investigating officers at the Scotland Yard. I have it here, as evidence that I clearly should have submitted earlier at the beginning of the trial. Yeah, no shit. Count Von Strugoff, you will submit that evidence in the aforementioned photographic print to the record of the court. Please. My pleasure, my lord. I should probably be arrested for withholding evidence. Second crime scene photograph has been entered into the court record. Whoopee! The fourth book has been entered into the court record. Whoopee! <laughs> Take that man and his chussy into custody at once. With his explosive fucking booze. <laughs> the prosecution rests. I have nothing further to add. So or do I? The rest of the trial. What? You seem surprised, my learned friend. But your resistance until now has been in vain. Entertaining, yes, but futile. The spurious longer route to the accused lodgings that you tried to establish in your summation examination and the attempted discrediting of the witness's powers of recollection in your cross-examination. Utile? Oh, I walked right into this, didn't I? You see, everything we've said is true. Go away. <laughs> Isn't that right, my darling? Did you hear his neck snap just there? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's disconcerting at best. Worrying at worst. <laughs> yes, Pat. Marry me, Pat. Aren't you already married? Uh, what? I, yeah, no. Apparently Yo, she... not. Apparently we're having a second what? wedding. After so, this trial. Perhaps the ladies and gentlemen of the jury would like to reconsider their positions. Should the court waste any more time on this Nipponese travesty? Marriages have to be recertified every year. <laughs> oh, God. Or is it the decision you have to make all too apparent already? <laughs> you have heard all the witnesses and seen all of the evidence. Hey, what about my cross-examination, though? <laughs> Fuck your cross-examination. You know, this you trial suck. has run its course. <laughs> Mr. Naruhoto, we are in a terribly precarious position. I know, but if I fight back in the wrong way now, I could very well just make matters worse. Think, Fianosuke, think. What would you do now? Hmm... You better raise something. Objection! I'm... I'm not done yet. No, my learned friend. It's over. The last cross-examination was your final chance to establish a credible defense. And you fail. Pretty hard. Damn, bro. That's rude. The die has been cast. There is no more room for debate. 
Well, it might be over as far as you're concerned, but... But, um... Ugh, I can't think of what to say. Lipsies. If I may, Count von Stroganoff. It seems somewhat foolish to close down the debate at this point. <laughs> Your insignificant little Eastern Isle must be a lawless hole indeed. It's like five times the size of your little rinky-dink island. <laughs> For a lowly judicial assistant to have the audacity to intervene at a moment like this. Oh. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> I am, to my shame, still a very inexperienced lawyer. So, you will have to forgive me, but I consider my assistant's advice essential, yeah, and her opinion's right. invaluable. <clears throat> Mr. Naruto! One of this land's great guiding principles is tolerance, so the court will hear you, madam. Ah, oh, ye. Yeah. Well, go ahead, Mrs. Sato. Please. Very well. Pray, what insight can you give us? I will tear you world fucking thunder. Have what come. have we all overlooked <laughs> in this matter that you see fit to pursue further? Oopsies. Court has been presented with new evidence, but only after the last cross cross examination finish. I see. You believe this new evidence warrants further examination, do you? Mr. Naruhodo, what do you think? It's just possible that this new evidence might be the decisive proof we've been waiting to beat this man over the head with. The judge is sure to ask the members of the jury to announce their leanings in a moment. Mm. Of course, he's sure to ask you to explain what the crucial piece of evidence is and why. So we must take this opportunity to examine the newly presented evidence as thoroughly as possible. Yeah, I understand. And thank you, Mrs. Sato. This is it. Sasato san has managed to win us one last chance here. I can't let it go to waste. The defense wishes to present evidence, my lord. may present one further piece of evidence. Evidence that apparently offers a profound insight into this case and has hitherto been overlooked. Huh? Well, there's only one new thing. Oh, look at this. The book has been badly burned. You're right. You'd never be able to read it in this state. Especially not the latter pages. What a terrible waste. Shut up, Judging... virgin. Judging from the scorched edges of this paper, I think the damage must have <coughs> occurred very recently. Hmm. A book recently damaged by fire. Why does that seem to raise a red flag with me? Let me see. It's a book entitled The Lion's Pride. I'm afraid I don't know any English literature at all. 
So it wouldn't be something I've heard. Wait, wait a minute. The Lion's Pride? That's strange. I think I have heard of a book by that name before. And very recently, too. The title I recognize, too, Mr. Naruhoto. Take that! I'm presenting it. The evidence in question is... Oh, I think I had the wrong thing selected. Oh, wait, no. Okay. The fourth book found in the victim's hand. We have already discussed the fourth book at length. Other than it being in the victim's grasp at the time of the incident, no significance has been attached to it. Pursuing the matter further would be a flagrant waste of the court's time, as you well know. Ah! Um. Yes, I'm afraid, counsel, I must concur with the prosecution on this matter. I have burn mark in it. I afforded you this opportunity. You led the court to believe that the evidence in question contained a hitherto undiscovered clue. Um. So I must insist that you elaborate, Counsel. You will identify this clue at once. Huh, okay. I make myself clear. Oh, um, yeah, my lord. It's, um... Mr. Naruhoto? No, it's not me. He's asking what's specific. I believe the prosecution is trying to avoid a thorough examination of the evidence. Which means you may very well be on the right track. Aw, oh, yeah! I guess. I think you might be right. Then, counsel, precisely where is the vital clue to this case which the fourth book conceals? Right here. <laughs> hey, hey, right over here. Hey, hey, I'm over here. I would ask the court to observe the back of the book in question. Back? What do you... Good gracious. Yeah, I hid it from the back. Then put it to a crisp. You so we have to ask loot. ourselves. You why was loot, it... man. That's way too much friction. Oof. Why was the victim clutching what is... Clearly, an unreadable book. It is undeniably an extremely unnatural thing for her to have been doing. And uh, do we want to call it here? It's almost one. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. Well, call it here. Cliffhanger it. Yeah. Cliffhanger it. Cliffhanger it. All right, y'all. fall. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so that was part 18, a little bit shorter because we ran 15 a bit late. But uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. I will have um, we'll have our voice acting crew introduce themselves. Uh, it is not a debate. It has been decided for you. Thank you very much. No objections. No objections allowed. No farting allowed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find someone to raid. So uh, hey, take it from the top. You. Oh, crap. Okay, I, I, I got this. So, uh, I am Sharky. I uh, like long walks on the beach, anime heroines with red hair, and obnoxiously long speed runs. So, my advice to you is uh, always spay and neuter your pets and tell your loved ones that you love them. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful night. I'll be next. <laughs> you gotta follow that shit up, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> it's Oni Hard again here. Currently working on 2.0 models. It's killing me. But aside from that, fighting games, RPGs, art, you name it. I'm here for you. And Caceres are on the 14 raid group blitz. We're looking at starting ultimate in the next week or two and i also do a lot of variety streaming and hang out wherever kios is alfina i exist 
Because All it's right. going shorter every time. It is. No, it, it will eventually just end up with... Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Alfina. All right. Like we'll also... already knows how this goes. <laughs> we'll also shout out our friend Nanpan. Uh, they'll likely be back next week, as far as I know. But, uh, yeah. Thank you all for joining us. And uh, I'm going to earmuff for a bit and do my outro shenanigans. But yeah, thank you for joining us all. I really appreciate the support, the the the, the new friends, the new follows, the fucking mind blowing gift subs and donos and bits. Like it's fucking unreal, and I fucking appreciate the absolute shit out of it. It's like it's just still kind of not real. Um, but yeah, I I appreciate the support. Um, we will be back tomorrow. We're going to be doing some Stranger of Paradise, any percent runs. Uh, trying to see if we can get that sub two up and knocked out of the way. Um, we will also be doing some, tomorrow's Tuesday, we'll be doing some Monster Hunter Rise, uh, where I'll try to be as cool as my buddy Bagel. Uh, I'll, I'll probably not be as good, but I, I'm a dual blade, and uh, we run it on PC. So if you have Monster Hunter Rise and you want to hunt some monsters with us, feel free to join us. Leads us into the links on the way out. Tomorrow, Monster Hunter. If you have it on PC, if you want to play with us, definitely feel free to join the Discord. Hop right in. We got some open lobbies going. We'll circulate and percolate. Uh, it's also a great place to trade cooking recipes, uh, talk shit about your favorite sports team, or uh, just you know, kind of catch up and see what's going on. Link up with other people that uh, circulate the community. If you want to catch up on any of our playthroughs, uh, speedrun PBs, tutorials, um, the, the previous cooking streams, the moto vlog that I, you know, occasionally upload to, definitely feel free to subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, literally costs you nothing. Makes me feel good. Um, what else? Our friends over at SkyTech, we'll thank them again for hooking the computer up so I could uh, bash it through these 15 runs. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty rough on the computer. So we'll definitely thank them and all of our SkyTech homies as well. I thank our friends over at Capcom as well and fellow Capcom creators. We saw a few of them tonight with Bagel and Nagiri. Uh, and we'll shout out our tea sponsor, uh, nerdtees.ca. Um, yeah, if you're a big tea fan, definitely recommend them. They got some cool stuff. Their Vietnamese uh, milk tea is out of control good. Um, and the last one's for me. If you feel, for some reason, <laughs> like supporting the cat boy, there's definitely some cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't already and you're subbed, um, feel free to join the Discord, get your cooking votes in. It is kind of like pretty much locked in. We're going to make something for our uh, generous benefactor of the night. Uh, uh, and then we, uh, I think, so what we have is I'm probably going to do BLTs and Mapu Tofu for Sky Pirate. And uh, Skytech, who bombed us earlier, uh, wants Beef Wellington. So it'll be a bit fancy, a bit new, and a bit of old. Yeah, Capcom is, is pretty cool. But yeah, those are the links. Thank you for hanging out with us. I'm going to find someone really cool for us to raid. I'm going to try and match the comfy vibes. So let's see what we find tonight, all right? All right, and we are clear of the recording. But for real though, y'all are just fucking out of here. So good.